Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE, our first day of coverage at Dell Technologies World. I'm Lisa Martin with Keith Townsend. We are joined by a customer of Dell EMC, Fernando Almeida, the head of infrastructure at Grupo Boticario. Welcome to theCUBE, Fernando. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, I appreciate it. So you've been, as we were talking before we went live, uh, an EMC customer, you're using VMware. This is your first Dell Technologies World, and you picked a big one, 14,000 yeah. attendees, loud music, there's a rock band going on there. Yeah. But just an orientation for our viewers of Grupo Boticario, the largest perfume and cosmetics franchise in the world. So it automatically started to smell better when you got onto our set. <laughs> you guys have a presence in 1,750 countries, yes, yes. cities, excuse me, and producing 300 million products every year. So with that kind of size of an organization to be competitive, to offer differentiated products and a superior customer experience, and you think we've got to transform our business, where do you start? Yeah, so first time, uh, first of all, thank you for, for inviting me here. Uh, talk a little bit about the Group Boticario, the company is a Brazilian company. It's uh, made, I think, uh, 20,000 employees around the, the Brazil, uh, present in 11 countries. Uh, I don't know exactly country, but uh, we present in 11 countries. Uh, the, the Grupo de Cara have uh, 4,700 stores around the world. Yes, yeah, the big, really big. It's the, the company is the, I think is, we don't have a, 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 another uh, companies, retail companies like us, you know. It's a, the big one, it's a McDonald's or uh, Avon. No, it's a, Boticario is the, the, the big, yeah, the big. It's like uh, the retail companies start in uh, 1977 and Group Boticario is holding responsible for five brands now. It's uh, Kendis Berenice, uh, the Beauty Box, Eudora, and now Vult is the, the new one. Uh, it's the Group of Tigari started in, 90, in 2010, when, when Rolding responds for, for five, five brands. Uh, it's it's the, the great company, it's the big one. Yeah. It is big. Yeah. So talk to us about some of the challenges, being that big, that dispersed, as IT infrastructure mm -hmm. lead, People look at you to, to uh -huh. make sure that operation uh -huh. keeps yes, going. Yes, yes. So talk about some of the pressures as you guys are competing. You really don't, have, as you say, you don't have a peer, but you know you have to stay ahead. Talk about some of those pressures of competing on, on your team. Uh -huh. Okay, so the most important uh, to support this company, uh, we, we, we need to, to stay aware with the, 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 the technology. Uh, and they all help us to, 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 to stay aware with the, 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 the IT transformation, you know. Uh, my challenge in 2008 challenge is uh, change the, the products, change the, 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 the put, put it on, 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 on IT technology, the, 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 the most products that uh, they all have or other other providers because you know now when I see when I see do you guys know some see or or know something like boot car stores for example mm -hmm. when I go to the, the stores uh, we have a lot of lanes to, to, to pay you know and now uh, after IT transformation we don't have more cashier, for example. It's like Apple, for example. Right. So I can come there and, and buy a product exactly, using my mobile exactly. phone. Yeah, uh, this project, we use uh, VMware products, Dell products, uh, MC legacy products, now Dell technology. 
uh, I think it, this is a, a, um, the big project in 2018. So let's talk about, you said over 4,000, I think maybe over 4,700 stores. 4, yes, yes. So you have a lot of people expecting this seamless, easy experience, not just the consumers, but also the sales uh -huh. associates, right, in the retail stores. Talk to us about the deployment model as you needed to evolve IT to support that and allow your company to be competitive. What, from a technology standpoint, did you look at going from traditional infrastructure to converged, hyper-converged? Talk to us about the transformation of your IT infrastructure as an enabler of your digital transformation. Yes, good questions. Uh, before, before a digital transformation, we had a, a, we have a, a, you know, it's, we lost our, our sales, mm. you know. Because a lot of lanes, um, you had a nope. lot of customers like me. A lot me. of customers. I, 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 if there's a long, I can spend two hours shopping, long line. Long line. I'm out of there. I go to another. Right. You know, it's it's crazy. Uh, after meeting with the Dell, with VMware, uh, I saw the the. I, let me. I can't remember the the, the products that I use. Uh, Air Watch. Yes. Yes. And uh, they 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 show us and uh, okay it's pretty good to, to use here. Take out uh, the big store to put this this product and I see you know the, the difference between uh, store with cashier and the store without cashier. The sales like uh, grow up like uh, 15 percent. Wow, wow, that's yeah. a dramatic yeah. improvement yeah. Yeah. from a business yeah. bottom because, line perspective. Because the performance, uh, agility, uh, 15 percent, just one store. Yeah, it's, so that, that's an amazing. amazing story. So AirWatch, VMware. You know, I, I, I have to give VMware credit when uh -huh. they bought AirWatch. I kind of scratched my head. One billion dollar business, and I, one Airwatch, billion. yeah, one billion dollar business. So it's amazing watching the growth of Airwatch and hearing your story. Can you talk about, you know, Michael Dell talks about Dell Technologies on top of Dell Technologies are best. Let's talk about the back end. Are you guys using some of the products that we saw on stage this morning, VX Rail, VX Rail, Yes, et yes, yes. We start to use VX Array in this year, 2018, okay? Uh, in the past, 2017, we changed uh, store storage. For example, we had a, a mechanical disk. I don't know. I can't remember the exactly yeah. model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we changed for all flash storage. It's the performance pretty good. It's, it's amazing. Uh, we put the all flash storage, VX Rail, AirWatch, all technol Dell technology products, you know, because this, now, we have uh, 20, 25 percent more performance. It's really good for us. Uh, I, I think this is a, a big challenge for us, and the, the big project when I see, when I talk about IT transformation. One of the things that uh, we hear often, and especially since the acquisition of the EMC Foundation, uh, Federation a couple of years ago, is IT leaders want to have you know, seamlessness, simplicity, agility, those are all key words, everybody needs to have them, but they want to have one stop, a one stop shop, like Dell Technologies considers themselves, to be able to enable, to, to make digital transformation real. Yeah. So you were using EMC products before the acquisition, VMware as well, yes. uh, with Dell Technologies, is that allowing you to have this one-stop shop location to be uh -huh. able to facilitate the transformation to, it sounds like really ultimately meet, meet customer demands uh -huh. that are improving revenue and sales. Uh -huh. you no, know, we was, uh, before, before Dell technology, uh, we have uh, MC Prods, of course, uh, but now we have, 
when I when I look the my point of view, the customer point of view, is better after the change, after the, the, the merge, because you have just one company and a lot of products. I just talk one person to buy a lot of products. You know, it's more easy. It's it's more fecuse. It's more commitment. Um, I think the portfolio right now is much better than uh, before uh, uh, the marriage MC Dell. Now I think it's, 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 it's better, much better. So let, let's talk about some of those sales and architecture meetings that you're having with Dell Technologies directly. What What's different about that? Because EMC would always come in and say, oh, we have VMware, we have RSA, we have Pivotal. Uh, of course, they didn't have a server group, they didn't have a desktop group much, much bigger organization, one of the fears is that they would become like their competitors and you go to talk to a Dell Technologies rep and it's just too much technology and they wouldn't be able to solution. Has, has that, that doesn't sound like that's been your experience. Oh, well, uh, before, before merge, uh, uh, we used just uh, MC storage only because uh, uh, I think the the, the, the the principal products in MC. This is my my opinion. Mm -hmm. the, I think the most the, the better product that MC have in the past before before marriage is the storage. And now uh, when I see Dell Technology have keep the storage, but we have hyperconvergence. We have uh, VMware uh, together with the, this company. It's one company, you know. For for customers, I think it's much better because you just talk to one person, like say a few minutes ago. Um, but I think uh, when I when I see my my environment in, in Group Boticario, uh, I have a, a lot of challenges in this year because I need to to say more, you know. I need to put technology on my stores to say more. Mm -hmm. I need to offer for my final customer uh, great products and agile uh, performance. Uh, if we have this, we have more say. We have more stores. Yeah, one of the things too that, that I was reading about um, getting ready for this show is, you know, we're going to hear a lot about digital transformation, IT transformation, data. The volume continues to grow and grow and grow, and we have new technologies, emerging technologies. Yeah. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, machine learning. IoT. How are you, and how are you going to be able to leverage all of this data that you have across all of these stores, data about customers, buying habits, and, and things like that. How are you, you envisioning in the future leveraging emerging technologies to be able to, like you said, increase the number of stores, increase sales, and ultimately delight your customers? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about it. Oh. It's a really surprise, Secret. but you know, we have a, a great challenge when I think IT intelligence, um, artificial intelligence, and the other products, hyperconvergence, blockchain, for example, you know, but uh, it's a secret. I can't talk. <laughs> it, the, the, it is a tough challenge to. We hear the, the we hear the buzzwords, but I think I agree that it is a competitive advantage to actually take this stuff, stitch it together, and come up with a solution that's actually competitive and and, and helps you to out uh, sell your competition. So I can appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, just one quick question about speeds and fees. Global company, a lot of uh, a lot of data as you sell a lot of lot more data, Michael said, you know, as you as you grow, mm -hmm. the data grows, uh -huh. as you uh, enable better use of the data, it feeds upon itself. What are the 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 building blocks of your data platform? Like what, what technologies specifically are you using within Dell's uh, storage portfolio? Uh, we use uh, AirWatch, like I like mm -hmm. said again. We use uh, all Flash platforms. Uh, we use um, uh, 
A lot of products, man. Wow. You're also using some BI analytics. The X-ray, now Islon 2. Now we use the Islon 4 support the stores. Mm. Uh, and of course, uh, the, 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 the most product important for support the stores is uh, our flash stores, storages, and air watch. So to sum up, you've, you've already made big improvements to sales, to the customer in-store experience, to performance internally, as you mentioned, switching to all flash arrays. So you're well on your way in this digital transformation. We, we won't uh, ask you any more questions about the <laughs> secret sauce of using emerging technologies, but we look forward to hearing um, maybe next year what you're doing there to delight your customers. And we want to thank you for stopping by theCUBE, Fernando. I appreciate it, thank you. And you've been watching theCUBE, we want to thank you as well. We are live day one of Dell Technologies World 2018. I'm Lisa Martin, from my co-host Keith Townsend. Stick around, we'll be right back after a short break.